just in here. If we pull the foot up and ask the patient to tension the foot, it helps because it tightens these structures underneath. You can also control the toe when you're looking at it. Place your probe on a, in a long axis view. Now the first thing to do is to have a look and ensure that you understand what is proximal and what is distal in your image. You can work that out partly from the sonographic appearances of the metatarsal here. The distal part of the metatarsal has that articular cartilage, that black line on top. And we then know as a result of that that this is the phalanx on this side. Now if we just bring the probe round slightly we can flatten that out and you can see that straight appearance of the, of the phalanx just above my cursor there. If we roll back round to the metatarsal slightly there we can then have a look and we can actually start to utilise differentiation through dynamic movement and have a look at that flexor tendon sitting superficial to the structure that we're all looking to find in this tutorial which is the plantar plate and that sits in this area here. Now if I draw that on for you as carefully as I can you can see it's very similar to the volar plate that we see underneath finger joints and you can see it has this wedge shaped insertion. Now this area here is where we'll often see the most artifacts and that's where we've got to be very careful of our probe angulation. Now you can see that I'm working my probe position constantly here to see this. If I have my probe at the wrong angle, I can certainly create for myself the nice appearance of defects. So you can see here we've now got a, a black area through the middle of it, but it's because of the angulation of my probe. Similarly, if I tow my probe in, I can see those distal fibers really nicely. I can also dorsiflex or place a sort of an anterior shear stress test on this plantar plate whilst I'm sonographically looking at it as well. I'm pushing down on the metatarsal here to stress the plantar plate and I can say that it's all nice and uniform, the thickness is uniform, the insertion looks normal. Important to have a good look all the way through the lateral and medial aspects of the plantar plate. Uh, tears do tend to occur more commonly on the peripheries and also just ensure that you're nice and parallel to it uh, and that you're not becoming oblique. You can see that I'm dropping my probe here and becoming slightly oblique to the structure. Ensure that we have a very nice clear view at this point, towing slightly towards the phalanx. Just drop your probe round a little bit and crisp up the articular cartilage. Differentiate with the flexor tendon by moving the distal phalanx of the toe and then you end up with a really nice view of your plantar plate, which is a great structure to look at. Now clearly you are limited a little bit on the sole of the foot by the tissue quality and by the system that you're also using.